Welcome inside Studio One here in New York with Jalen Rose and Chauncey Billups. I'm Michelle Beadle. Celtics were up by as many as 12, now with a four-point lead at the half. Low numbers on this one. Tonight's Going Places brought to you by Toyota, Chauncey. And you want to start with Jason Tatum? Absolutely. You never really expect a rookie to lead the charge at the start of a Game 7 situation in Eastern Conference Finals, but this kid is so special. He's going to score from always in his bag right there. Mid-range, he scores from every level, three ball, and then you catch him right here. He gets to the basket and dunks on whoever's down there. Just so impressed with him. He's never, he's never phased. Does the not moment seem is at all never intimidated. too big for this guy. But also, they did a very good job of establishing Al Horford, too, early in the game. That's where I was going. It's indicative of the fact that Jason Tatum doesn't have to do it all. Al Horford can have his moments. Morris can have his moments. But on the other side, LeBron James clearly had to be the first, second, and third option <laughs> for the Cleveland Cavaliers until they got themselves going. And for LeBron, he did it in all facets, Bees. You see him working it in the post. Right shoulder turns over Marcus Smart. You see him driving Baines. You know there's multiple players guarding LeBron James. It does not matter. He understands he has to continue to be aggressive and lead this basketball team. And he gets a little bit frustrated at times, and rightfully so, because it seems like if I could be where everybody wanted me to be, I would be confused. Right. <laughs> and so now it seems like they've settled in. And the Boston Celtics should be winning by a lot more, in my opinion, so far. Yeah, they, they should be. That, uh, they're lucky, Cleveland, to be this close at the moment. But the reason why they are, you talk about a guy like Jeff Green. He's done a very good job. I mean, they're riding his confidence. He played very good in game six. And he has advantages because he can put the ball on the floor. He can get it in transition like this and, and get down the floor and score in transition. He can also knock down a three when he's, when he's called upon. Get coming full full speed against a big defender in Baines, that's an advantage for this team. And we all say, what are the other guys going to do? How can they make up for Kevin Love in his absence? He's one of the reasons why they can. And both teams are struggling shooting a three. It's ugly. Six for 36 for both teams wow. combined. Fine. Yeah, wow. that, ain't, that, that ain't good. Whoever turns that around. It's going to be the catalyst to who was able to win this game seven. Well, we got ourselves a game, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> LeBron right here. He's got a game-high 17 points. And here are two of those in uh, traffic. Whew. Smarty. How about that flop? He's back. <laughs>